Hi everyone, welcome to Toy Break, episode 305. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Taka. Welcome to the couch, Taka. Taka! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> very good to have you here. Oh, yeah, I'm very glad to be here. <laughs> welcome, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let's tell them what Toy Break is, okay. and then we'll talk to Taka All right. about why Taka's here. Uh, in case you're wondering, Toy Break is your weekly internet show featuring news and reviews all about the wonderful world of toys, including but not limited to designer vinyl, plush, action figures, collectibles, events, interviews, everything else we can bring you in that wonderful world of toys. Let's start as we always do by thanking our site sponsors like Suburban Vinyl, Button Lab, DKE Toys, 3D Retro, Happy Panda Toys, Dragatomi, Tomenosuke Shoten. Oh, very yes. good. Official. He, we can never say it that good. No, we'll never say it. We'll never say it as good as you can. Hmm. Have you been there? Uh, not yet. You should go. Yeah, yes. Film. <laughs> Take video for us. Oh. For Toy Break. Oh, free. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, would you like to tell us about the contest going on, George? Yeah, it's the Bug Bite and Pip Squeak contest. You can win this set of translucent yellow and glitter resin figures from Chris Reiniak and Amanda Louise Spade by heading over to the contest section on toybreak.com forum and post your favorite duo from history, literature, TV, movies, etc. Anyway, just your favorite culture, duo, because we got history. we got good old Bug Bite and Pip Squeak. <laughs> so tell us your favorite duo. Deadline is May 21st. See those? Thank you. Sparkly. Yeah. Is it translucent? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not candy, though. <laughs> I know. Do not eat. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Well, let's talk to Taka about why we have this amazing guest on the couch. Thank you. <laughs> so we Taka, imported you all the way from Japan. Taka's here all the way from Japan. Um, and Taka and I used to work together a long time ago. Seven yeah. years, I guess. No, no, no. It, How long uh, was it? Ten? It was uh, 2002 to three. Wow. Really? So it's been that long. 11 years ago? Yeah, maybe. 11 years ago. That's a long time. That is a long time. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Welcome yeah. back. Uh, it's uh, many, many years ago, but uh, I still feel like uh, just a while ago. Because mm -hmm. you watch us on Toy Break. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. I've been learning English on Toy Break. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> we should watch our mouths. We should. <laughs> So, uh, so Taka is a digital, digital, model, digital sculptor, right? Digital sculptor. Yeah, three D model. Three D modeler. modeler. And uh, do you love toys? Do you collect toys? I don't collect toys, but I like uh, garage kit. Ah, uh, garage kit, kit models. Mm -hmm. And is that why you were? We should mention that we're filming this right around time of Monster Palooza. Oh uh, yes. Because um, Taka was here for Monster Palooza. Yes. Um, you spent all weekend there, right? Every day. Every day. How was wow. it? It was fun, and and uh, it's a good opportunity to meet uh, my old friends mm -hmm. and to get to know new people. Yeah, I got uh, one of the things I got from. We're gonna go through some Monster Palooza stuff while, while you're here. Hmm. Um, did you see this? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's signed. Is that funny? So can you tell uh, me what it says? Hmm? Like what is which, which one? What is that? It's a uh, uh, Kanehisa. Kanehisa. What does that mean? Oh, uh, hard to explain. <laughs> um, it's. Uh, they don't know what you're holding. Oh yeah, this is a book <laughs> by Takeya. Uh, am I saying that correct? Yeah, Takeya. And this is uh, if you don't know Takeya's work, you should go look up Takeya and look up some of the kits and books and sculptures and amazing work that he does uh, but he was there signing so what's one of his more famous things people might know what, what he sculpted the pumpkin head for a geometric design oh. okay or, but here's the autograph in there it says dear george i love you and is this his signature yeah uh takeya takayuki look at that legit beautiful so uh, I was excited to see him there but uh, a couple other things that we have hmm. that we can look at while, we're, while you're here uh, picked up this one for Aaron who's been on the show oh. before oh. Sim from, from Simon, Simon Lee, Lee. scary 
What do you think of that? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> it has a little chin chin. Yes, don't don't say that. <laughs> oh, bad? Oh, Japanese, Japanese people are watching this TV show, right? <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Got one of these Ooh. from Eric Sosa, a little head from him. Mm. How about that head on him? <laughs> it's even scarier. Great. Great. I picked up one of these bootleg Mexican oh, hombres. I thought that was pretty funny. I don't know that one. Now this is that's from Mexico. Yeah, that, those are made in Mexico. Um, they were brought up brought up here and sold here, and I think it was like ten bucks. So I was like, mm -hmm. I can't pass that up. That's a lot of plastic for ten bucks. And then this one I picked up right what at the end. Thing? Oh, here's a sticker from Neil Wynn. Eyeball sticker. The Neil win? The Neil win. Look at how bootleg it is. There's nothing on the back. Blank. Mm. <laughs> I think this is the right card. I want to make sure I got the right card. I think this was Matthew Levin, I think. Yeah, MatthewJLevin.com. Um, I got this little set of figures. Oh. So there's this one. Those are cool. Sugoi. 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 And that one. Whoa. Ew, they've got, it's, they feel like rust. Well, it is. It's rust. It's an oxidizing paint, so, like, it will rust more over time as it goes. Like, oh. It's going Weird. to keep rusting. And each one had a different kind of rust pattern, like where the most paint was on it and things like that. So it's made in resin, but then painted? They're painted with that rust, yeah. How does, does that react with the resin at all? I don't know. I, probably not. I guess not. we're going to find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out over time. <laughs> these oh. are really neat. And they were, like, he was selling these, they were $15 each. And then he was like, well, if you buy all three of them, then I'll give it to you for 40 bucks. Great. So I say five bucks, but mm -hmm. it was, uh, I just thought they were a nice little... I kind of think I'd like them better without rust. No rust. Uh, see, the rust is what really draws me to these. Really? Like, I don't know. They're crazy. I like the sculptures a lot. I couldn't decide on just one. Like, I was like, oh, I'll just get one. And I couldn't figure out, like, it was going to be this one. Mm -hmm. But then, like, it but doesn't really like look like anything. This like, this, yeah, this one is, like, the classic... And then since I'm going to buy two, I might as well just give them the extra 10 bucks <laughs> and get the last one. Wow, cool stuff, George. I didn't even see you buy anything. Well, that was the only thing. I mean, that and the book were really, How really too. This stuff was for other people. But you came with like a people. whole bag of things. I didn't see you make one. Well, no, I saw you buy the book. I, I'm sneaky. You are sneaky. <laughs> so Sneaky. But it, what's the meaning of sneaky? <laughs> um, he does stuff and I don't know. Oh, okay. Sly. Is that a, do you know Sly? No. 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 Hmm. My English is still poor. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no That's a weird is great. word. Um, did, so do you, do you didn't buy anything? You didn't? I didn't buy anything. How did you spend Wait. three days there and spend no money? <laughs> <laughs> oh. We were only there for a couple of hours and I couldn't resist. <laughs> hmm. What was your favorite thing that you saw at Monster Palooza? Uh, Norman Cabrera's uh, latex mask oh, yeah. and Joe Duchel and Sam Lee's sculptures. Oh, what else? Uh, I visited the Neil Wayne's booth, uh, Gabriel Garcia's booth. Neil Wayne's was your favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but he said, he said slow. Oh. Hmm. That's okay. Well, there's so much to see. Mm -hmm. And did, you said you went to, um, did you, you went to some of the programming, some of the panels? Uh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a trailer of a Harbinger Down. Oh! Was it good? I didn't even know that was mm -hmm. there. I backed that on Kickstarter. Oh, I did. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see that. How was the trailer? Trailer is a. Uh, hmm. How can I say? Uh, honestly, I couldn't see many creatures. Mm -hmm. It's oh. more just a trailer. So I don't know. I don't know about it yet. Saving the surprise. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And, and uh, my another my friend Kevin McTurk, mm -hmm. he has a short film and Kickstarter project. I visited his booth. Yeah. What one? What project was his? Which one did he do? Was that the puppet? Did he yeah, do puppet puppets? project. I remember that. Oh, I remember that. We went and saw yeah. his puppet. Yeah, we went and saw that at the mm -hmm. theater. Good work. Very cool. 
So should we get into some reviews? Sure. Then? Well, well, actually, I think it's... Well, we should oh, show what Taka brought stuff. us. Oh, yeah. Taka brought a gift. He brought two gifts. Two gifts. So let's unwrap it and check it out. Let's see what it looks like. Well, first he brought us some cho pear chocolate. Yeah. Thank you so much. I got Do it. Can I eat one now? Yeah. I'm so excited about pear chocolate. Would Look at like this one? one has a little book. Thank you. Look at that. Knives. Mm. It has little knives. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, how cute. It comes with a little thing. It's got the whole little how to eat it and everything in here. You have much fancier food than we do. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you. Look at that. <gasps> Robert. It's so pretty. You can eat that. It's too pretty. Whoa. Mmm. A pear chocolate. It's kind of like. I a think pear we're gonna have to save this chocolate. one for the end. Okay. Can I try one of those yeah. chocolates though? I'll try one of the chocolates and we'll save that one. It's really good. It's mm. like a fruit jelly covered in chocolate. Very good. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna eat them all. <laughs> Okay, let's put this. One? Let's put this to the side. All right, let's. I think it's blind box time. <gasps> yeah, okay. blind box time. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time. <laughs> what do we have today, George? Today we have Imagine X. Yay! Do you have Do you have Imagine X in Japan? No, no. Well, well maybe there is, but I don't know that. Okay. They're this, cute. It's more of a line for kids. It's supposed to be a line for kids, three to eight years old. Mm -hmm. um, but we like them anyway. And uh, so this is a blind box. You could get pretty much anybody in this. The robot is cool. Hmm. Which one would you want if you picked it? If you had to pick one. I want the Anubis. Mm. I picked this robot. Yeah. The robot. Robot's good. Okay. What I like the diving bell helmet guy. Old diver. Yeah. There's no way to open this. There's a hmm. knife. Can I open? Mm -hmm. Can I do it? I'll do mine too. Yeah, the hell! <laughs> I got the soccer player! Oh, I got a race car driver, I think. Oh! Oh, oh good, that's a good one. Oh, this is cool. Look at my big trophy. Hey, I got a trophy too. Hmm. Number one. Number one and a half. One and a half. I don't know. <laughs> Mine doesn't say anything. This is cool. It's a little hoodie wearing soccer guy. I gotta say, like, I didn't really care about having it when I saw him without this, you know, when it was just a guy. Once you put this helmet and crash pad on him, he looks kind of cool. Oh, hmm. yeah. Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. He kind of looks like <laughs> a Power Ranger. <laughs> oh, he's the coolest. That one's all. Oh, and he comes with a little <gasps> dude. A mana ray. Look out, Steve Irwin. <laughs> How do you say this in English? Diver? No, 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 this one. Oh, manta ray. Manta. Manta ray. Manta ray. Stingray? How do you say it? Manta. Manta? Manta. There you go. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much the same, right? Look at this guy's cool. James Bond. Hmm. In the suit. Lumberjack. Looks like George. <laughs> <laughs> Remember George has a big beard before. Yeah, long you, time ago. Do you ago. miss his beard? Hmm? Do you wish he still had it? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's no one scary, does. huh? <laughs> no one does. All right, well, Imagine X, Blind Box. Wait, this is Series 1, right? Yeah. I, th I think they just released Series 2. Series 2 is out, and uh, if you want, if you're looking to get these and you don't want to have to try and feel them, there are codes that you can look at. I there's think a number up here. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. And uh, if you go to our forum, there's a there's a section where we post codes. So you can go and check out the codes and uh, know which guy you're going to get instead of having it be blind box. Cool. Well, let's get into some reviews. All right. So for reviews today, we're going to do some Hot Wheels, which I like. Do you? Did you have? Do you have Hot Wheels? Do they have uh, like this? Yeah. Yes. Hot Wheels. Popular in Japan. They're everywhere. 
Um, you never know. You never know what goes everywhere. So we we got a few different ones today to look at. Just sometimes I pick up random ones. Sometimes. Uh, Why do you have these? A couple of them were sent to me. Um, Charles Monster Forge. Oh. He thought we would really enjoy um, this one because it's kind of a different take on a Hot Wheels. This is it's still Can a I Hot Wheels. This? Yeah. Can I rip it? Oh, yeah, just, no. no, just rip it. Um, it's still a Hot Wheels. It comes on the same carded thing, but it's actually a. A, a skateboarder guy <laughs> and it, it's weird because like the skateboard base is like a regular car bottom mm. but then just put with a skateboard top i don't know it's kind of a strange thing it's a giant skateboard yeah, yeah. um Give me the, the thing up there so this one's weird normal car but it's got two little pegs and you can put your lego oh i love lego yeah i played a lot up. when i was a kid not now no, no. <laughs> <laughs> she still plays with it all the time. I love Lego. Mm. Um, so, yeah, this Charles also sent us this car, funny enough. Thank you, Charles. Because uh, he thought we would enjoy the fact that they built in these weird... And it's also this. like Oh. It's got <gasps> it's got places places for them to hold. Weird. It's got this thing up here where oh. you can stand them. Dangerous. Thing, <laughs> things back like here. And then you can also hold on to the back wow. as well. Oh. well. Or not. <laughs> You can if you put it on right. <laughs> she looks giant in that car. She would be a little mm. big. I'm not really sure why you would want your giants to be riding uh, like around. Like power wheels. This like would definitely be wheels. dangerous to do in real life. Um, but it's just kind of cool that, I mean, Hot Wheels has nothing to do with Lego, but for them to like hmm. make a it car that... It would also that... work with Creo and other popular building block brands. Probably. But they don't own that either. Just saying. <laughs> Wait, you so, got a couple other cars over there. And then, uh, yeah, so a couple of the cars that I really like. Oh, you're obsessed with these. I'm obsessed with this. It was called the Bump Around, and it's just a little bumper car. It came out in blue, and then I found it one time in a yellow, and then just recently, this for this year, they've re-released it in green. Oh, I thought it was a John Deere. But it's crazy because they also made a new package. So like. Oh, it's tiny. It's a, it was just a tiny little package. I don't mm. know if they're all going to this size, huh. um, but this was the normal package, and then Weird. they went to a little version. But I love this bump around, and it's a nice way of having colorways for Hot Wheels. Do you have bumper cars in Japan? Drive them around? Ah. They bump. At the amusement park? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi. 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 <laughs> um, of course, they also have fun movie cars. Hot Wheels are great because they're like a dollar. You can get out of the store with Super one. Cheap. If you have a kid and he's like, I want a toy, get him a Hot Wheels. Or a buck. You can always get a buck. <laughs> Um, and then you have 500 cars. There's Herbie. <laughs> but then this one I thought was kind of neat. It was this weird... I didn't know like, you have so many Hot Wheels. I just brought a couple of them out. I have some more. <laughs> <laughs> it was a weird, like, translucent green, yellow, like... Looks like a snake. Yeah, I don't know. Like, this is such a weird, bizarre thing to see. Like, they don't normally have... They're normally, like, a metal... Oh. Like... This guy? No, no, no. Oh, is that what you want? <laughs> And this one is like this weird plasticky. It, it looks like it, it feels pops off. cheap. It doesn't. I don't think. I mean, no, it no. doesn't. It's just a weird. I don't know. It was a weird car. I had to. I, I had like to pick these. one up. The bump uh, arounds are my favorite, though. The bump arounds are adorable. I like that the Lego can stand on these. I gotta admit, I have. There's a, no Batmobiles here. I keep buying the bump arounds. So it's because I want to have like a whole. <laughs> there's like a whole bump around community in my in my mind. In your mind. So I, I haven't found any more of the green yet. I really like this one too. I like the colors, the green and purple. Um, I haven't seen any more of those yet. A so. toy George likes everyone. I'm on the lookout for more. Um, <laughs> but on the on the same vein as Hot Wheels, uh, we got this box sent to us from Tyo Toys. Um, you might know Tyo is the company that makes those. Uh, they dumpsters. Did, they did dumpsters. They did the Trash. post office box. They did a bunch of stuff like that. But they also are now doing Fast Wheels. Valve caps and a sticker go inside, um, but it's a fat, it's a it's a suckadelic, suck lord branded, um, fast wheels car, <laughs> not hot wheels. Fast wheels, with a Z, because it's from the street. Check it out. It's got the suckadelic logo on the side, and on the front of the window, some crazy design on there. Now are these printed, or is that hand painted? I think that they're printed. I think that this is. And a valve cap for your bicycle? I guess so. Oh, two valve caps. Two valve caps? Yeah, you can put them on your bike, put them on your car. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess whatever you want. It's much smaller than a Hot Wheels. And look at that, mm. the, the psychedelic logo. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to put these on the car. <laughs> We're going to have 
going to have to have these all because there's enough in here. So. All right, so these bootleg race cars are, there's, I think Suckaloid said there's about 22 different styles available, and you can get them by emailing store at suckadelic.com and uh, just see if they have any in stock or check out suckadelic.com. There's 22 different styles? That's what he Instagrammed. Wow. Feel how <laughs> cheap this feels compared to like, like feel the difference. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just plastic. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Cheap. Bootleg. <laughs> what was this? I don't. This was also in the box. Yeah, that's numbered. Oh yeah, look at that. One ninety nine. So this is a, a an official sharpie. It's signed. Um, and it looks like it's some. I don't know what the graffiti artist's name is on this one. Oh, D one, N Y C. Is that right? Maybe. Dinick. Not really. I'm just kidding. So I don't know. But this is a. It looks like it's an artist brand sharpie. I'm oh, small. What if I put a mustache on you? No, no mustache. <laughs> It doesn't smell like as toxic as the old Sharpies. Do you want a mustache? No, no, no. No mustache. No mustaches over this here. This oil vest? Uh, I don't know. Water vest? Permanent? I think it's water based because it washes off eventually. Mm. Well, it does say permanent though. But I don't think it's oil based. I could be wrong about that. Please I don't know. tell me in the show notes if I'm wrong. Or just don't. <laughs> or just don't use it to draw on people? Or just don't tell her. Or don't tell me. Come on, tell me things. All right, so. Since we're talking sticking, about cars. Sticking with cars. Um, pick this this batch up a little bit ago. Um, Toys R Us. Have we talked about these? I, I know we talked I feel about like them. we talked about them. I know we talked about... Maybe we did. Do you have Toys R Us? Uh, I did a, a lot. A lot yeah. of Toys R Us. So Toys R Us just started making their own toys. I didn't know that. They, uh, instead of just getting toys from other people, they said, Hey, you know what? Let's get in on this toy game. Uh, mm -hmm. And they, now they make their own. So one of their brands is this Monster 500, um, and it's a, it's, it's got an app that goes with it. I think we showed the app on the show. The app's pretty terrible. I feel like we talked about it before. Um, but these were, when they came out, they were 15 bucks for the set of three. But we picked them up when they were having a cool little sale. Um, Monsters. And they're monster related. Oh, so uh, look, it looks like a Big Daddy last. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. Ratfink style. Um, so they each come with a, it's the, the car and a card, a trading card. Oh, that's nice. I like the way they put those in there. Let's see. All right. Oh wait. So, oh wait. I got their names over here. So in that set, there's Zoom Zombie, Leadfoot, and Flat Top Frank. Cute. And then this one has what? This guy's my favorite. Zoom mm. Zombie. So that's one, two, and three. Then there's six, seven, and ten. Drac Attack, Captain Heinous from Uranus, and <laughs> Werewolf Blitzer. Uranus. <laughs> Um, and then there's also Evil Clown, Evil Clown Evil, Crockpot, and we got Drag Attack, mm. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Ride. The clown, yeah, I think we have it. Here, open the, oh no, Turbo we don't have the Chainsaw clown. Maverick. No, we don't have the clown. There, some of them we couldn't find in the three pack. I think you have to buy them separately. Um. Now, do the cards do something? Can you play with these? I don't know. Oh, it gives you a code, your Monster 500 code. You probably put that in the game. Oh yeah, yeah, it probably, like, it probably unlocks, the, unlocks the unlocks the cars, and then you can play with it. So this is a cool. Uh, I don't know. I, I like I like that Toys R Us is making their own stuff um, now, because they're heard... doing stuff that people other people aren't doing. Like no one's doing this kind of cool thing like this. And we should mention that there's cool track you can get for these guys. Instead of the orange Hot Wheels, it's purple, which and I assume it will probably work with your Hot Wheels too. But it's purple track, and I think they have a green one. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. They're really cool, though. How do these compare in size? It's pretty much Same? the I mean, they're comparable. These are all plastic, though. Not hmm. not metal. Yeah. I don't know. Is that bottom piece? I think it's... It might be weighted, hmm. but this is... This piece might be metal. But the car is plastic. Don't break it. No. Don't do that. Danger. Just plastic. Hmm. Um, these are cute. Yeah, I like them a lot. I, I mean, it's just cool to have these, like like Taka said, these Rat Fink <laughs> style, like Big Daddy yeah. Roth style. Like, I don't know. It's just I wish more companies would do cool things like this. Which one's your favorite? Um, I like the zombie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of, and that's the one we bought separately before, so it's now a double. But oh, good, I can have one. Um, <laughs> I mean, they're all really good. Crockpot's really funny. We don't have that one here. Oh, I need Crockpot. They have big ones, too. Mm. Like this big. I think they're also like $15. All of these? Yeah. Yes. 
Mm. I think so. Mm -hmm. Yes, or just some of them. I think they have all of them in the bigger version as well. Cool. Um, so that's it for cars. It's a good little car set, a little car talk we had on here. Um, so now when you go back to Japan, you can take a look and see if they have these in Japan. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see a lot of monster toys in Toys R Us in the store. Uh, only movie stuff. Mm. Mm. Well, you're from Japan. You have more monster toys anyway. Yeah, but mostly anime. That, mm. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. We don't have a lot of those. Mm. You have, have, and you have Man Mandarake, is that right? <gasps> Mandarake, yes, yes. That's a good story. In right? Koenji, Tokyo. Mm. Do, you do you go to there? Do you go to uh, Yes. <laughs> do, you li do you live near Tokyo? Is it like... I used to live in Tokyo for over five years. Mm. So oh. I know Mandarake and uh, I visited there uh, several times. Do you spend hours in there? Long time? Uh, <laughs> not much. But yeah. I would spend hours. Looking oh, at everything. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Ben visited uh, Tokyo, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I never met Ben in person, but I remember it. Yeah, maybe next time he'll come see you too. Next time. Okay. <laughs> I hope maybe so. he'll come out when we come out to Japan. Mm. We'll all come to Japan. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Alright, so last but not least, we have Star Wars Angry Birds Telepods. Of course, they're Angry Birds and Star Wars, so they're from Hasbro. And this set happened to be about 10 bucks. Have we had these on before? We've, we've, I don't think so. I don't know if we've shown these or not. Uh, well, uh, We've shown the, the, the AT-AT. Remember we got the AT-AT? Yes. So we've shown that there are Star Wars ones. Well, but I had to buy this set. Of course we needed this set because it comes mm. with... Ewok. Ewok. I love Ewoks. You do? I do. Give me him. Give him to me. I can't. Give him now. I can't. Oh, he's so cute. Now, is this a little, does that, does he sit on Wait, there? it has a tiny QR code. Oh. It's the tiniest QR code ever. Oh, but look, you can look at the QR code. <gasps> if you put Wait, it what does that there. do? And then you scan it? Look, you can look into there. Do you scan it? I don't know. Mm. I'm going to scan it and see what happens. I didn't mind buying this one because uh, it's got, <laughs> it's got Lando. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. Look at him. Put your little phone camera up to the thing. Yeah. I'm trying to. Oh, look at that. Oh. It worked. It just gave me a number. Mm -hmm. Is there like a go to it thing? I don't know. I can look on... Not really. Here, wait, let me see this. <laughs> you know what? I bet it's for the game. I bet you use it in the game. I want to see if it'll read it this small. Get real close. It's so tiny. No, it can't focus on that. You need the little magnifying glass. Mm. <laughs> oh, Taka. <laughs> oh, got it. You got it? Yep. Wow. It, it's just a number. Weird. But I'm sure you can use it in the, the game. There's a, a game, obviously. Star Wars Angry Birds. Have you heard of Angry Birds? I don't know what this Angry Birds is that you're talking about. It's pretty popular. Oh, here it is. Tells you about it. Oh, and there's a the little carbonate. Yeah. Bird and carbonate. What's this character? Uh, Jabba the Hutt. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, but Jabba. Jabba has a yellow color, right? Uh, green. Green? Green. I didn't know that. Uh, maybe uh, the lighting. Mm, yes. Oh, this is a teleporter. You, you put this on your iPad and you put this, there's a little teleport part of the app. And you put this down, and then it reads it, and it teleports this guy into your game. Oh! Mm. Well, now I have to play the game. So now I'll have to try that out. That's cool. It's it's kind of it's kind of neat that they're look at this guy's little fork. <laughs> because these came from an app, that they're kind of still using the app in the toy. Oh right! Like I, I like it. I like that they're incorporating it. Same look thing at with tiny these. Fork. I wonder if that's just going to be a thing that happens now. I mean. You know, nobody, the kids play more with, with apps. Kids play more with, you know, phones and iPads than they care about toys. Funny. That's a good one. Well, that's why So now Apple you makes have video to, games. Yeah. Somebody's got to turn all these into di digital models. That's, your, that's <laughs> where you come in. <laughs> um, I think that's it for these, right? Do you play Angry Birds? Ah, uh, yes. Angry I did. Birds. I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> exactly. It's universal. 
We need the little pigs that we can throw at things. Oh. <laughs> Isn't he a pig? Yeah, he's a pig. Oh yeah, he's a pig. Chaba. We still haven't found the Boba Fett pig. No. One pig Fett. One day we'll get that Boba Fett. Boba Fett. I think it's because he's a popular character and then like you could see which one you're buying. So those are just always gone first. Well, that's it for our reviews. Do you want to talk about anything, Taka? What kind mm. of toys are popular in Japan right now? He doesn't know. He doesn't play with toys. I don't. He goes to I'm, stores. I make toys, but I don't, I don't know about toys. <laughs> what was your favorite toy you worked on when you were making toys? Do you uh, remember? A gentle giant. Sure. Oh, uh, I like uh, the Lord of the, the Ling stuff. I know which one you're thinking of. The dragon you painted? Yes. Yep. <laughs> I remember that. That's my favorite one. That fell was, Beast. That was the Fell Beast. And that was, was that for Play Along? Was that the... the... For Play Along. Yep. I remember that. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Do you at least have one of those? I got... That I, you made? I, I got the toy of Fell Beast at uh, uh, Toys R Us in Tokyo. Oh, cool. good. Cool. Do you still paint? Do you still paint figures? No, not at all. No? All, all digital. Wow. No cray. Do you miss painting? Mm, no, no, because <laughs> the technology is getting better and better. So I don't miss uh, airbrush and cray anymore. <laughs> <laughs> too messy? Yeah, too messy. Yeah. <laughs> no dirt. But it's good to know how to paint on real things yeah. and then learn how to do digital, right? Yes. Easier? Easier. Do you, I don't know ZBrush at all. Do you, is, is there a painting, like, can you paint in ZBrush? Or no, do you, you can paint you in can ZBrush. You can paint in ZBrush? Okay. Wow. I'm going to have to learn this digital stuff. It's and more, then you can output on a color output machine. Wow. It's like uh, digital clay and digital airbrush. Wow. Sounds hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, thanks, Taka, for coming. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Oh. Is it fun to be on this side of the couch? Ah, yes. <laughs> will, when you get home, will you watch the episode that you're on? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's wrap this episode up by talking about some events. What's going um, on? There's a cool mini or not expo coming up. It's the gaming convention with panels, game developers, miniature painters, and sculptors in Atlanta, Georgia, May 23rd to the 25th. You can go to cmonexpo.com. That's cool mini or not expo. Miniature painters? Uh, Full-size painters <laughs> painting miniatures. <laughs> um, that's a, that's a cool. I mean, I think we talked about this last year when they were having it too. And uh, we've since then talked about games that they have developed through Kickstarter, like uh, Rivet Wars and Zombicide. Mm -hmm. So uh, go check out the cool mini or not expo. It seems like it's going to be cool. And, of course, Long Beach Comic Expo, celebration of comic books and pop culture at the Long Beach Convention Center in Long Beach, California, May 31st and June 1st, longbeachcomiccon.com. And this one's Long a little... Long Beach. We didn't say it enough. I just wanted to say it. Oh. <laughs> and this one's a little different. The, there's a Long Beach Comic Con towards the end of the year, mm -hmm. and that one's more, you know, toys and games, all sorts of things. This one, the Comic Expo, is focused on comic books oh, and artists, mm -hmm. so... It's kind of cool. If you're into that, I would I would recommend going. Would I, you tell people to go to Monster Palooza next time? Uh, next time, to to who? Should they go? Anybody? Should they go? Do you recommend it? Ah yes, it's yeah. very very fun place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you spent three days. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> did you get any autographs? Ah uh, no no. What did you didn't do anything in Monster? What did you What did you do there? <laughs> did you take pictures? Uh, I took pictures a lot okay. with my friends. Okay. And uh, uh, I forgot to say about uh, this one. The Walking Dead? Oh, the Walking, the walking Dead. dead. Uh, I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found Greg Nicotero. And I said hi. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> and uh, I, I told him uh, I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead. And it's uh, popular in Japan. Cool. Mm. Did you get a picture with him? <laughs> no, he, he's so busy. <laughs> oh, he's always got time for a picture. Hmm. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. And uh, George gave me a gift. Mm -hmm. You want to tell him about the gift, George? Sure. These are the uh, the Walking Dead minifigures that we sculpted for Skybound, which is the company that makes the comic book of Walking Dead. So this is based on the Walking Dead comic book. 
You can pick them up at OctoberToys.com if you're interested in your own set. Because, spoiler alert, there may be some different characters. <laughs> and you read the comic and watch the TV show. Uh, I watched the uh, TV show first, then I read the comic. Oh, okay. oh, cool. And you still like the comic? Mm -hmm. I like both TV show and comic. Very different. Yeah, different. Um, honestly, I don't like uh, Sprites and uh, Zombie. But uh, The Walking Dead is different. It's more like human drama. Yes. Yeah. More emotional stories. Good description. Human with drama. A, with some good splatter thrown in. No, what, what did you say? With splatter thrown in. Blood splatter. But uh, <laughs> uh, I, like, I like to see that. <laughs> okay. I'm enjoying. <laughs> Do you like horror movies? You went to Monster Plus. Of course you like horror movies. Yes. Yes. What's your favorite horror movie? Hmm. Or one of them. Horror movies, uh, The Thing. The oh. original one. Mm -hmm. jo yeah, John Carpenter's The Thing. Mm -hmm. Good movie. Mm. And my favorite is uh, uh, American Werewolf in <gasps> London. I love American Werewolf in London. But it, it's a horror movie, but uh, mostly comedy. Funny. It's funny. funny. Yeah. I, the director, John Landis, we met him once. Very mm -hmm. nice man. Oh. Very cool. Yeah, I, I don't usually like meeting celebrities. I don't usually care about meeting celebrities, but I was very excited to meet John Landis. Yeah. It's like American Werewolf in London. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a very good one. What about you? What's your favorite horror movie? Horror movie? Horror movie. Horror movie? Horror. Horror? Horror. I cannot pronounce that. <laughs> Either can I, Wait, don't how worry. do you say it in Japanese? Ho hora. Hora? Hora. 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 That's what we're going to say. No, 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 no. Don't say hora. 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 Is that okay? Mm. I think you're teasing me. <laughs> it's different. Hora. 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 Yeah, it's good okay. pronunciation. Hora. Hora movie. Your... <laughs> um, my f I don't know. We I never don't... talk about horror movies. I don't... Well, this is Toy Break. This isn't I want it to be break. Horror Movie Break. It's th that's a whole other show. Okay. I'm off the hook. Boom. Ugh, All right. Save money with Toy Break coupons <laughs> online. Check the show notes at toybreak.com for complete details as well as links to everything we talked about. You can also watch past episodes, join in the contest and discussions on our forum. Uh huh. Um, that's it. Just do all that stuff. You could help go out to the toybreak.com. Help with the show by shopping at amazon.com and uh, just go there mm -hmm. first through toybreak.com, click on the Amazon link, and then do your shopping as normal. Huge help to the show. Thank you to everybody who does that. Call and leave us a voicemail, 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can call in, say hello to Taka. Email <laughs> us, info at toybreak.com. <laughs> Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash toybreak. Check out all of our shows, our, our other shows on YouTube at youtube.com slash toybreak, like Toy Briefs and Toy Girls, all these full episodes. Maybe you're not watching it toy, uh, YouTube, you can. You could follow us on Twitter, at toybreak, or on Instagram. Who are you on Instagram? I'm at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. Are you, Are you on, on Instagram? It? No. No. Twitter? What, what is Twitter? Twitter? Twitter.com? Twitter uh, Twitter. No? You're not no. on Twitter? I have an account, but I, I don't tweet anything. <laughs> <laughs> How about Facebook? I have a Facebook account, but I don't upload anything. <laughs> how do you talk to people? Email. <laughs> Email. <laughs> how will people know how to find you? They can't. So we're going to make you um, an Instagram uh, at Taka Gaspar. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. You I can follow it. Taka. I love it. Well, thank you so much for being on the couch, Taka. Thank you. Um, was it fun? Mm-hmm. But a bit nervous. Oh, you were great. This is going to be my new can favorite you, episode. How, we, we need to say something in Japanese, though. What can we say? Um, and now, I mean, we don't have a toy break, but can we say the old the old line? Ask Kaka. Can you say, um, and now here's your toy break in Japanese? Mm. Is that something that can be translated? Say that. And now here's your toy break. <laughs> Hard to translate. Oh. How about something like, uh, enjoy toy break? Thanks for watching Toy Break. Oh. Ah, Toy Break will meet you. Thank you. Enjoy. 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 Enj
All that. What he said. <laughs> Bye, everyone. We'll see you next week. Jai Raishu. Mata Raishu.